Whoa. There's a fish coming in to the live minnow. It's having a peek at the minnow. It will seem small, I think. It's having a peek at it though. Look at it. It's coming up to it. It's coming up to it. Is he gonna eat it? That's so cool to watch live minnow. Oh, he's spooked. Why'd you spook? Why'd you spook? Why did you spook, Mr. Fish? Well, first interaction with the live minnow. Oh, I just realized, I don't think I did an introduction today. I don't think I did at all. Well, welcome back to Clay Chick Outdoors. I, of course, am Clay Chick and well, this is somewhat of the outdoors. I'm indoors, but in the outdoors, if that makes sense. There's a, a fish on the screen right now. Probably the same guy that came by that minnow. Looks small. I am running two holes today. And we're gonna have a little competition between the two holes, between the live minnow and artificial baits. Right now I got a rattle bait on here. I've got the quad camera going so I can have a look at the fishes coming towards, right towards the rattle bait. So I got the quad camera on here so I can have the fish checking out, or the fish, two baits on the camera at the same time. This fish is, has got me loopy because he's checking out my bait is what I was trying to say. So I was, I was saying one thing and thinking another. But yes, that's the that's the target today. We're gonna see what uh, what's better, the live minnow versus artificial baits. Maybe I'll put some kind of like minnow head on this side if I really need to. If it's if the bite's that slow, maybe I need to go to like a jigging spoon like I did in uh, my last video with a medium-sized dinner bell and whacked a couple big fish. But right now, this is what we're doing. It's fun. I'm clearly not in Saskatchewan if I'm using live minnows. I'm obviously in Manitoba. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes, look at. I shouldn't have stopped what I was doing. Come on. <laughs> I'll take it down to the bottom and see what happens. Oh, he's turning around. I can see him on that camera, he's turning around. Come on. Come on, it's so fun to watch him go from camera to camera, like, and swim around. Like, so right now that shallower, so it's behind me. I think I got two fish down there. Yeah, here comes another one. Oh, there's one on my live minnow too. There's three walleye down here right now. They're all small, but there's one on the live minnow. I've got three walleye on three different cameras right now. Come on. I, I'm sure I could take them up and catch them higher maybe, but... I really want to catch them on the camera. This is super clear today. This is awesome. Oh, here comes another one. We've got four walleyes, six walleyes. Holy, we got walleyes all over us right now. Loaded. They're small, but insane. There's walleyes everywhere. There's walleyes on every camera. <laughs> got three right now looking at the rattle bait. Two looking at the live minnow. Like, come on, you guys. <laughs> There's fish everywhere. I count one, two, three four, five, six, seven different walleye, I think, on the camera at one. Not eating anything, though. It's tight lip right now. Come on. They're tiny. They're, they're small walleye. Has a lot to do with it, probably. This is crazy. Look, he liked that. He liked that dropping. Let him at the bottom. He can eat it at the bottom. That's insane. Oh, got him. Got that one. <laughs> That was nuts. There's walleyes everywhere, like everywhere. And like I said, they're gonna be small. There he is right there, back down. You can tell I really wasn't worried about landing him that much. But like I said, he was, he was tiny, like 12, 13 inches, probably something like that. But there's walleyes just crazy on the underwater camera right now. So artificial bait, one, live minnow, zero. Oh, look at this one come charging. Oh, I missed it. I'm just gonna keep going like this because obviously likes that. It come flying in there. I'm gonna let it sit at the bottom for a second. Oh, 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 live minnow, live minnow. I didn't see that really happen. Oh, I got the rod holder with me at the same time. Okay, well, live minnow just caught a fish. Crazy. Like, I didn't even really see that happen on the camera, obviously, because I was watching the bottom. Oh, hook came out, perfect. I'll talk about my live minnow rig in a little bit. But right now, we've got fish on here like crazy. Wow. Oh, 
this is so much fun to watch them swim from camera to camera the quad camera is pretty cool pretty cool this is kind of cool so i was really wondering why i had like two green screens on the bottom but the top were different or top were different colors this shows you how important the light is when it's underneath underneath you so i turned the camera and now i got the bright screens in the left and the right because the way the camera's pointed shallower has more light a little bit deeper i'm a little bit of edge of a drop off here so if i keep going my top two cameras right away are likely going to turn the color look at that that goes to show you the importance for sure of like the the light underneath the ice how clear your your uh, visibility is going to be right deeper the deeper you go the less good visibility you're going to have the shallower obviously the better visibility you have that's really neat i'm going to go back to the way it was just because that's the way i started the video but you can see all the colors or the cameras change colors that's so cool huh i was wondering like is there something going on right now like am i missing something is the screen messed up or something like that but no it's literally just the way it was facing Oh, here comes one. Come on. Oh, oh, got him. That fish came cruising in. You can hear the ranger running right now. Carter's with me today, and he's moving spots. He's going to go try some other areas. Well, that's two for the rattle bait, one for the live minnow. That thing came in, like, pretty aggressive. Pretty aggressive. Unfortunately, I can't really do much with uh, a fish that size. Like pretty hard to make a video of that but it is cool to watch my underwater camera regardless turn around and go back don't come back for a few more years i'm using a little rip and wrap here see if it focuses in this is a custom paint job by element custom baits my buddy mike harris i'll uh leave his link to his instagram in the description below make some awesome baits like <laughs> this one's cool but I've seen some amazing ones lately that's like, I want to ask him for some more, but it's like, oh, just wait, Clayton. I have one bait. Look at this. I've did some, I did some giveaways with these yet, and I've only used it a little bit. But he made some CSO ones. I got bad CSO. I got lots of light on that camera. Maybe to dim that light down, but I got CSO ones. A little bit bigger. I'm going to try to catch a big walleye in that this year at some point. Thanks, Mike. I appreciate it. It's about probably about a half an hour later from when I talked about the camera and the different lighting. Look at how all of the four screens are all the same color. Sun got just a little bit higher and the lighting got perfect for all of the cameras. Oh, oh. That was another one going towards the live minnow. He's going right to the live minnow. Look at him. Perch is interested. Got a bunch of fish moving through here right now. Here comes, here comes that one that was at that live minnow, I think. Here he comes. The perch is interested too. <laughs> bet you, bet you can catch that perch if I get. A little tungsten jig here and a meal where I'm ready to go. Small. <laughs> so small. Probably catch walleye with it too, really. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, sure. Here comes a better walleye, of course. <sighs> right when I take off my, take out my rattle bait, comes a couple nicer walleye. Of course. Well, we're going to see if we can catch them. Look, he's going towards the live minnow. Oh, here comes one right now too. Oh, wow, okay. So the little mealworm was like candy to that walleye. This is just a, a light rod, my perch rod, four pound, four pound test only with a little tungsten jig. I use it for stock trout and for perch. Little guy. Does that count as bait for, let's just go, 
live minnows versus everything else that's probably the easiest way to do it because technically i did have bait on this one so it but it is three one oh look at that live minnow threw that fish in like instantly look at that the little guy chase going around that live minnow that minnow's too big for you You leave it alone buddy oh he just ate it he just ate it wait till he gets the whole thing come on take another bite you need another bite buddy before i do anything he's swimming around with it but i don't even know if he has the hook there he is he took a deeper now you don't need a giant giant hook set with just a live minnow on it well that's another one for the live minner another one for the live minner Come on, buddy. When he first ate it, I could tell it almost looked like he had just kind of the end of it. So I waited till I feel him do a second, second uh, take in. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm probably gonna break this off. I got a pike right now. I was having a sandwich and a pike just come in and hammer my live minnow. I'm gonna just take it easy and see if I can somehow land it <laughs> without Though breaking off the line. It's only six pound test. There's not much. It's not much to it. Oh, we're gonna maybe get him. We're gonna maybe get him. Easy. This is usually when they break you off right here. Easy. Easy. Come on. Almost had him up once. Come on. Come on, buddy. Here we go. Pretty good line that hasn't broken off yet. Come on, here we go. Okay, we got him. We got him. Nice fish. Right there, not jumbo, but a decent fish. Go right down here, buddy. Just don't get caught in my other rod. I knew you would do that. So this is what I have going on for a live minnow rig. Pretty handy. So I have here tungsten weight. You can see a little bobber stopper, which I'll show you what it is. And then a size eight treble hook here, really tiny. So what I'm doing is I'm taking, I just have six pound floral carbon leader or line on this, this reel setup. Just that, nothing else. I take my tungsten weight and I slide it on that line first, right there. Then I take one of these bobber stoppers, which is right here. So bobber stoppers that come on this white ring like that. And I slide on a bobber stopper on that line. And then I can adjust how far I want that weight to go down. And then I'm tying on, I have here a number eight treble hook, which is small. And the nice thing right now is this pike just gave me some nicks in here. So all I have to do is slide up my bobber stop a little bit, cut that treble off, retie it, and then set it up. It's super simple. The size of tungsten weight I have on there is just a 1 8 ounce. Could even be a 1 16 ounce actually. I'm not sure which what I have, but smaller is definitely better. I, I don't mind the split shots, but what I like about the bobber stopper compared to the split shots is it doesn't crimp that line which can make it a little bit weaker even though the split shots are pretty good on the line it's going to create a little bit of a weak point right so it just takes away that weak point completely and also now too it's like when i go to retie all i have to do is just slide my weight up a little bit further so it's a pretty handy little setup i don't get a fool around with live minnows too much but when I do, this is one way I like to hook them. I know I've been getting asked questions like, like how do you hook your live minnows? Oh, 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 zoomed in. Where are the walleyes coming by? Come on, eat it, eat it. Oh, see that? See how fast he spooked when that minnow kicked away? And then the crayfish on the bottom was like, no. Where'd he go? Is he on a different camera right now? on the left Let's see if I get him to come over here <laughs> that was really cool I was zoomed in trying to figure out what was walking on the bottom look at a little crawdad here he's gonna come over here now 
Here he comes. It's so cool how you can zoom in. I feel like he was going to eat that minnow until it kicked away right in front of his face and kind of spooked him. Just a little guy. That's so cool, though, how you can zoom in with the quad camera. Like I said, I was just zoomed in on this guy trying to figure out what it was. Just a looks like a crayfish, but maybe just a big one. Really cool to watch. And all of a sudden, there was a walleye that appeared there. <laughs> pretty, pretty neat. So that's what's neat about the quad camera. So that I can zoom into different screens, right? See what's going on. I got a bunch of timber down there. Some logs here. Same thing. Some timber, and then you can see it kind of drops off there into the river channel. And then on this side, I've got my live minnow up there, and you can't see the crayfish anymore there, down there on the bottom. And then I got my spoon. It's really neat spoon with a minnow head on it or half a minnow actually very cool spooked him rodents here he comes here he comes <gasps> well when he finally wanted to eat it it was on he come over and looked at it a few times in the bottom turned around and it was like it was on I knew he wasn't going to be very big. Fish seven of the day, four to three right now. I know it's not really fair because I do have bait on this hook, but I just have a lot of faith in a dinner bell with a minnow head on it or half a minnow, whatever. He spit that up, so I'm going to put it back on. <laughs> there's fish everywhere. That one's skinny. Oh, there's two on the bottom right, one on the left. Look at this. There's fish everywhere. I'm not watching my live minnow right now. Watch that thing just something grab that one. You guys, you guys keep an eye on the other camera. I'll keep an eye on this one. Oh, I got that crayfish. That crayfish I saw walking around earlier. I have it right now. Huh? <laughs> How cool is that? Look at that. That's a monster crayfish. Oh, don't eat me. <laughs> this thing is huge. I don't know if it can grab me. Look at the size of this crayfish. Well, I guarantee you those walleye are hammering that thing. That's what I saw walking down there. It grabbed my spoon on the bottom. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> okay, buddy, you go back down there. He's just gonna sink all the way down. <laughs> he had a hold of my spoon. That's, that's what I saw walking by earlier. That's so cool. Tiny guy. Look at him come right to the middle. Come on. Come on. Come on, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. He's, don't just bite the tail. Eat the whole thing, buddy. Come on, you're tiny, I know, but I'll catch you anyway. Come on, come on, eat it. He's got it, he's got it, he's got it. Got him, <laughs> he's tiny. That's so cool to watch them eat like that. Unreal. Let me change back to the other screen just in case I see more fish down there. That was cool to watch. Well, that little guy had a big appetite, big minnow, I guess for his size, that's probably not that big. See you, buddy. Oh, oh, there's a fish. Just gonna come over here, he's a little guy. He's a little guy. Coming this way, yeah. He sees the spoon. Here he comes. Here he comes. Come on. That was easy. <laughs> it's so fun to watch him come in from from another another camera. It's like you you could tell they go around the camera, but they see the spoon and it's like he just come right over to it. The it's 2:30 in the afternoon, so the the midday was kind of a bit slower when I had like my best visibility. You can see now the cameras. 
starting to change again on those two angles. For a while it was like all, all bright, but we got cloud cover that rolled in, which is gonna be a factor too, and obviously getting later in the day, like here the sun sets like at, I don't know, just before five o'clock. And I'm kind of on the edge of a valley here too. So it's like, I'm going to lose my visibility like sooner than later, probably, but I'm going to fish for this as long as I can. And then I'll pull up the, the camera and then obviously fish through the night with the flasher camera as well. Not, not through the whole night. I'm not staying like till super late. Might fish into the dark a little bit though. Come on. Oh yeah. Got him. <laughs> that is so cool to watch. So cool to watch. I am so addicted to that underwater camera, that's for sure. Ooh, a little bit better one, actually. I think this one's gonna be uh, taking this one home to eat. Well, this one's fate will be the frying pan, but a 16 incher, I don't have to measure it. That's what, uh, that's what your fate's gonna be, buddy, the frying pan. Come on, yes, yes, oh, no, 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 no. Come on, come on. Come on, here he comes. Come on, eat it. Eat it. Oh, yes, yes. Got him. That's a little bit better fish. Not not giant, but definitely a little bit better. That was cool. <laughs> I watched that sequence for a little bit. Very cool. Very cool. Nice fish. Nice fish. Nice fish. Nice fish. A little bit better fish right there, for sure. That is awesome to watch him hammer that live minnow. Man, it doesn't get old. That does not get old at all. One more quick look at that one. Probably like a 21 inch or something like that. And we'll fire you back down, buddy. See ya. That, that fish coming, he actually looked at my other bait at some point there too. And then swam back around and ate the live minnow. So the minnow was sitting there, but I just kind of give it a little bit of action on the tip of the rod, just kind of tapped it just to get that minnow moving and triggered him. Oh, oh, oh. Look at the live minnow again. Oh, did it eat it? I think he's got in his mouth. Oh yeah, he's got, definitely got in his mouth. <laughs> I didn't get to see him fully eat it because I wasn't quite sure where the minnow was located. Well, the minnow is definitely uh, starting to uh, shine now. I just got it back down there. We're doing it. We're doing it. Well, the live minnows are outperforming the spoon now, even though I haven't touched the spoon probably for 10, 15 minutes because those live minnows have kept me pretty busy. I picked up my live minnows this morning from Lost Metal Resort there from Lowen. He has a pretty good system there where you can pick up the minnows outside and pay right there so you don't have to go inside. So there's got, he's he's got the whole COVID restrictions things, restriction thing dialed down. So it's uh very convenient for sure and picked up a couple dozen minnows and they've been active down there and a lot of fun to watch on the underwater camera well i've had a pile of fun with the underwater camera but i'm starting to lose my visibility so i'm going to pull it and just fish with the hummingbird for the rest of the day even though i could still see some on the bottom it's just not going to be the best for video anymore so i'm gonna have to pull it up in the next 10 minutes anyway so let's get it over with right now come on small guys but it's a double it's a double double trouble double trouble and there's more fish down there loaded right now easy easy oh 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 did it go up to the live minnow oh oh geez it crushed it that's a little bit better fish that's a little bit better fish yeah good head shakes that's a little bit better fish right there that thing come up and smoked it. That's a nice fish. I'm not really even worried about getting this rod out because it's far enough away. That's definitely a little bit better fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good head shakes. Good head shakes. Definitely nicer. I'm gonna play it nice and cool. It's coming up slow. Yeah, oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. There we go. Nice. Nice fish right there. That's a gooder right there. Wow. That fish come up and smashed it. Hammered. Well, I'm glad I kept their live minnow thing going for sure. Not a bad fish at all. See you, buddy. That was quick. 
this is a very good rod for these live minnows because that fish came up hammered it went back down with it he didn't even know he was hooked and that rod was like starting to bend over which is what you want with like a dead stick rod something that's got some forgiveness with it that they don't feel it oh here we go come on here we go Ooh, ooh, is that one mark is that one mark that's one mark it's big come on yeah i don't know if that was one mark or if that was a few fish or what it's just charging me right now it's just charging me i had the momentum of it going up it's not a bad fish it's running now come on just trying to loosen my drag a bit it's definitely a nice fish like that was a good mark that was a good mark i got a fish on the bottom again too i don't think it's a giant oh no no that's a nice fish that's a nice fish that's a nice fish that's a nice fish Ooh, good fish good fish good fish good fish good fish good fish Good fish. Yes, that's a good one. Oh, come on. <laughs> yes, prime time, baby. Slobs. Unreal. I knew that was a better mark. That was one mark the whole time. That's a good fish. That's 27 inches for sure. Maybe bigger. 26 and a half. 26 and a half inches, baby. Beautiful fish. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Unreal. Thanks, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and there's still a fish on the dead stick too. Wow. This is lights out right now. Lights out. Come here. Come here. Little guy on the dead stick there. I'm gonna get back down there quick because there was another good mark. Well, that will wrap up my day on the ice. It's getting super windy. There's a storm moving in. I wanna get everything packed up and out of here before it does. It's been getting windier as the day goes on. I'm glad I went out and pegged everything down because stuff is like getting nasty. So thank you guys so much and girls for watching. Don't forget, get outside.